So a problem I had a very long time ago was I couldn't uh, find any um, servo rods or cheap servo rods for uh, putting into these little plastic things and so I came up with a real cheap solution and it's it's good and reliable for foamies but uh, I wouldn't trust it for the expensive planes. But basically this is what it looks like and um, uh, it's basically a straw and a barbecue skewer in the middle and some guitar string. Now, I only use it for really short um, when, I, when I don't eat a really long rod. So, so you can see that rod's pretty short. I've never tried it on a long rod. For example, the Brixler has these really long, you can see that real long servo rod. I, would, I wouldn't do that with this, um, this type of solution I've got here. So, how to make it? Well, pretty simple. I've got a little straw here, like a drinking straw, and uh, I've I went to the sh the local um, music store, and I looked at the uh, I, I brought this little piece of servo uh, servo arm, and I went and got them to show me all their guitar strings, and found the one the biggest one I could find because it'd be the strongest but small enough to actually fit into the servo, into one of the servo um, arm holes. So it does fit in one of those holes. And so you just get, a, I think it's 42 or 44 gauge, but it'll be different for your servo rods. So go find some guitar string. So you can get guitar string, that, and a, this is part of a um, barbecue skewer right here. So basically you cut it to length of how long you want it. And as I said, it should be, you should use it as a small one. And I just, just put it in there. And so you just fit, fit it, that barbecue skewer into there. Put your, I don't know if you can see that. Put that part of the guitar string in. And then get some hot glue. Yeah. Just put it in. You can bend it first if you actually just bend that first. Put some glue into the end. I've got my glue gun set to low heat so it doesn't really destroy the. Uh, you just want to make it so it goes in the ways that glue goes into the um, straw, straw a little bit. If it's on real hot heat, sometimes you'll melt this straw, which isn't so bad. But and of course, push that back in. It's okay if it sticks out a bit. There you go. There is a. Um, you can bend that how you want, and then that should. Sorry, I hope you can see that. So that's a servo rod, and basically, I use it for a lot of my planes. This one is a good example, and at the tail I use it as well. So I've been using this um, servo rod um, with this with this uh, aeroplane I've made for a while, and then it seems to work fine. I haven't had it slip off at all yet, as long as you bend it really well and make sure you use common sense, you can tell if it's going to fall off or not. 